Coming hot. Hot. My name is Max. This guy is Sam. So we got, got a, a camera, camera, some mics. So you know what's happening. happening. Some shows are great. And some shows are smart. Some shows make no sense right from the start. We tried to split the difference. And tried to do it all. We'll save you the suspense. Here's, Here's what, what it's, it's called. called. This is the Pretty Good Podcast. Chorus line. It's the chorus line. It's the perfect time. It's the perfect time to describe what this show is in a few lines. As long as we're not in a rush. We are live. Are we? Oh, let me just uh, make sure the sounds are at a sound. Sound, sound. I just want to say thank you to uh, our studio audience today. Um, they have been really great getting everything, just being really patient while we get everything set up. Um, and uh, yeah, we want to thank them. We have one cue card for you guys back there. I'm not, we didn't even make one. It's just don't make any noises. <laughs> Nicely done. Very good, good job. job guys. Yep. Studio audience here. Very, very well behaved. Hi, I'm Conan O'Brien, and this is Andy Richter. <laughs> Hello. And we are here. Samson. Yes, Max. What do you want? <laughs> like in Jeez. life? Mm-hmm. Uh I would like what to What would make Samson happy? I uh, I really want to own a own a home. That would make me really happy. But uh, I also wouldn't mind um, just being friends with a penguin. Like, have you seen that movie, Mr. Popper's Penguins? Yeah. That would be fun. I read the book, too. Really? Mm -hmm. See, I didn't even know there was a book. Mm. That's mm. how uneducated and ignorant I am. So what steps are you taking to achieve those? Well, I've been practicing my penguin calls on a weekly basis. And I've also... Can I hear a little? Um, I don't think they're quite ready for the public yet. I'll show you some backstage. But... Uh, All right. Yeah. Sorry. I just don't want to, like, attract any penguins into the studio because they might have to waddle across a road somewhere. And I don't want to put them in danger. Okay. Yeah. So, um, anyways... I've also been uh, acclimating myself to the cold. I've been uh, just putting my head in the freezer a lot. Um, and uh, just like... To like empathize with penguins, yeah, sort of? Yeah, yeah, Because like if you want to be friends with them, you got to like know, you got to think You got to like have them. some common ground. Yeah, exactly. So... Like obviously there's the differences are what's going to make you friends. Mm -hmm. But like you can't strike up a conversation. Yeah, and I've been going to a lot of parks and sliding down the slides face first on my belly. Oh. With my arms behind me. And like pretending that it's into water and then trying to like I've been like I guess that one gets me a lot of weird looks from parents, but like I, I think it really like puts me in that penguin mindset. I haven't been like direct so I get like I haven't been trying to, you know, pursue a f like friendship with a penguin, but I have been trying to avoid getting eaten by sea lions. That is um, very like yeah. I mean that's right. And now on that the I money. think about it, like that's so penguin. Yeah, that's really penguin. Dude. Super penguin. I think my entire life I've been avoiding getting eaten by sea lions. That's the closest is I got to a penguin. Really? I don't know what they sound like. I feel like oh, it's higher. I don't. I think so. Like that's best cool. Podcast. <laughs> I mean, you know, penguin. It's a uh, it's Saturday and you're sick. Which is fine. But it's also... This is like the earliest and sharpest I've seen you awake on a Saturday. <laughs> yeah. I don't think I've seen you on a Saturday unless it was like nighttime. <laughs> I haven't seen you in daylight on a Saturday in a long time. Unless I was with really? you the night before. Because yeah. in my head, it's like if it's noon or earlier... I, on a weekend, I just, in my head, I'm like, Samson's useless. Don't well, try. Well, usually I'm still awake from the night before. Yeah. And doing I don't want other to, things. Right. And, but that means, you know, the sun's coming up. Sleep is eminent for you. Yeah. Yeah. And then I'll, I, like, Saturdays, usually I, like, 
go to bed at like 9 a.m. on Saturdays, and then I'll like wake up at like four or five and like get ready and then go out again at six and then sunday i usually just like wait like go to bed around like anywhere from like you know 8 a.m to like 11 a.m and then i'll sleep like all of sunday wake up at like 7 p.m eat some dinner play some video games maybe then go back to bed and wake up monday ready for work at like seven I think are you work. cool with that? I mean, it's been working out, but I also got really, really sick after doing that for a while. So I think maybe it probably wasn't the best schedule. But um, so I haven't been out at all this week. I stayed in. I, I worked from home all week. I was really sick earlier this week. Like, couldn't move off the couch sick. Um, I think your body needed a break. <coughs> probably. 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 Um, but uh so you never feel like you're stuck in a rut no <laughs> huh. no nope. so maybe i'm just overthinking everything <laughs> yeah i think so why am i why do i do anything <laughs> <laughs> it's all in my head mm -hmm. wait but also you're the only one who said that and i just listened to you i just took that to heart what you said yep. and i'm like i don't need to talk to anyone else about this nope what authority, like, what makes you correct other than I just asked you? And <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> that's huh. just my, that's just what I think. Yeah, and I'm just a uh, sheep, I guess. Yeah, you're just a sheep following in my footsteps. Hmm. Yeah, and I'm the shepherd. It's weird because my footsteps are probably bigger. <laughs> ah, well, you gotta self walk on your toes. Hmm. Because if I want, if you I want little the calves shoes I want. To fill. <laughs> I got some little shoes to squeeze into. Uh, Have you heard of Veer Das? Veer Das? Mm -hmm. uh, what is it? A comedian. Oh. First name Veer. Last name Das. No. The point is, I saw him this week. Yeah, like the live. Egyptian. Oh, yeah. And he's really, really big in Mumbai, India. Where he's <laughs> really? from. Really? And I had never heard of him. And my friend was like, you want to go? And I'm like, sure. Looked up <coughs> a bit or two on like Instagram, some clips that he had. They were funny. Mm -hmm. And we went and yeah. he was awesome. That's he great. It was like, he didn't sell out the Egyptian. So they moved everyone closer. Mm -hmm. That's and cool. And I've never heard like a comedian who's like native to I mean, there's like Indian comics mm -hmm. like, he's native to like India born in India to come to America to start stand up in America he was like started in India mm -hmm. and then came here yeah and he's really smart mm -hmm. like I think if you don't think <coughs> if somebody didn't stop it or <coughs> yeah. did talk I'm sorry I'm sorry I tried if, really hard if you didn't think he was like funny his show was very like so well written and like it was more of a one man show yeah it was awesome and yeah it's cool seeing somebody who's super super famous somewhere else that is cool and then come here and then not be. yeah that is that's really cool actually that's, that sounds like a fun show um so if eight of you who don't live here who watch these he's touring goes he's pretty good Oh yeah, can't go to Nick Swordson anymore. Why? Sold out? No, um, you can. I can't. I fucking forgot I have some work thing that I promised I'd go to. Mm -hmm. Previous engagement. <coughs> um. So while well, I've been sick, I've gone like full like nerd. Oh. Um, just been watching. Is there any water? Is the water boiling? Is the I was just gonna. I was wondering if the stove was even on. If your stove is on. Yeah, I don't remember if I turned it on or not. I put water in a pot and put it on the thing, but I don't know if I turned the stove on. It doesn't look like it's on to me. So do we just sit here and <laughs> just fuck? We forgot, or like, are you gonna fucking <laughs> take some niche? <laughs> I thought you were already getting up. No. I just... I'll, I'll mess with my stove. What? 
Yeah, right over the camera, for sure. It's not even on the screen, so fuck you. Whatever makes you feel like you're contributing, I guess. I hate you. You literally didn't move it at all. I did, and you'll see very clearly. I don't think so. After you I don't think you did anything. Piece of shit. Mm. Piece of fucking trash. Didn't even get our whole fucking logo in the goddamn shot. Piece of shit. I could fucking put nine logos right here. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like I've been pretty consistent at making them work. Yeah, you are. Oh boy. Do you think this is going to pour out smoothly or a little bit's going to come out and then the whole thing, like when you drink ice out of a cup? Second option. Oh. Stuck. Ice in the cup. What? <laughs> it's gonna be some strong coffee. Yummy. Look the bowl. Do it. Actually? Yeah. I Get where the blades are. Okay. Come on. For our, our older uh, female crowd, Did you get the blade? I can't reach it. <laughs> mm. Well, um, do you have coffee on your teeth? You need to prove that you like mm, half stepper. I uh, was at the dentist and they told me that I have one of the like under hair. They said I'm tongue tied. Like the song? Like no, that's literally what they call it when like the the skin that like connects the tongue to the bottom of your mouth like is like goes out further than like an average and it like prevents you from like sticking your tongue out very far or like but it doesn't like affect my speech very much I don't think so they off they offered to cut it and I was like no leave it stick your tongue out as far as you can go huh uh-huh wait so I it seems the same to me I don't know, maybe your tongue tied too. Mm. But I, I always ask, I say, don't leave me tongue tied. Well, like you see that thing? Don't. I mean, I see the skin. Yeah, like string or whatever. Yeah, you have it too. Yeah, isn't that? Yeah, mine's isn't like, ever, mine goes don't further. Have that? No, like everyone has it, but some people's like are further out, like on their tongue than others. Okay. Cool. Super interesting. Cool. Um, cool. Super, super cool, man. Super, super cool, man. Super, super cool, man. Did you say you had a bit when we were setting up? Yeah, but then I forgot it. Okay. I'll save the day. I learned that my friend, we came up with, uh, I guess I'm doing it right now. Um, the word we came up with was, was max explaining. <laughs> like, I'm not like talking. Like, I over-explain things, not really in, like, a condescending way, but more so, like, it's very extra, but it's more so that I'm, like, looking for, like, a joke in everything I'm saying, so I, like, over-explain that way with a lot of things, and so the term we came up with was max-explaining, where it's like, you're not a dick, but you could get to the point. <coughs> It's funny because you said not condescending. Yeah. It's a little condescending. How? Because you're looking for a joke to make fun of someone while you're explaining no, something to them. No, find a joke about the thing that I'm saying. Uh, okay, like, see, clarify. Yeah, but like if I was, con I'd be like, here's why you're dumb for not knowing the thing that I'm going to. You, you, well, the you reason can, you cars have con headlights. <laughs> Well, Max, you could be condescending see, without actually saying you're dumb. See, you're mansplaining. Yeah, see, that's condescending. <laughs> yeah. And I don't do that. Really? I don't think so. Okay, I don't think so either. So I, I just, just confirm. We've talked about where I go, I will go way o you over, do go over to like, if I, if I wanted you to hand me something right there, it would be a 10 minute like build up. That's of me true. Like, Samson, you're great. 
I love everything about you, and I am totally capable of grabbing that thing over there. But, like, could you? I'll, like, I'll, that seems I'll like do, a poor example. I know, but it is an example. And it's, but that's not Max explaining, is it? No, it's more so of just me, like, feeling bad about asking for things. Yeah, it's different. Yeah, but we, like, diverted from the original oh, topic. Okay. And... I hadn't. No, that's why I mentioned it, though. Because... Okay. What are you doing? I'm taking notes. <laughs> no, you aren't. Yeah, I am. <laughs> oh, yeah? What'd you type? I typed, Max leaning over, explain things in almost condescending... Yes, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> <laughs> notes. Uh, like, are you hoping in like 20 minutes you'll be able to like make like the ending callback joke from that or something? No, no, I don't know. I don't and know you're why. You're going to tie it all together? Yeah. What do you think your red flags are? Um, that I am a flake <laughs> and um, that's like the biggest one. I'm like a big like, oh yeah, I'll do that and then I just don't do it. More. I definitely like uh, uh, I think um, probably just like the amount of effort I put into like other people would probably make it hard for like someone to like want to be in a relationship because like I put a lot of effort into like other friendships and just time into other friendships and find like friendships more important than like developing relationships a lot of times I feel like and like most of my friends, like a lot of my friends are girls, and I think like other girls find that to be a red flag at times. Hmm. Interesting. I'm Here's the activity I had planned. Okay. You name what you think your red flags are. I'll say what I think mine are, and then we both say what we think each other's are, to like average it out to like maybe actually notice some red flags of ours. Because I, I think or what. But how are we going to notice our own red flags about... We're just going to guess. Okay. It's for fun. It's not... Yeah. I mean, don't take it right. too seriously. Yeah. But it's like mine... I I don't think I'm a dick to people. I just think like if, if we're thinking like relationship-wise, a red flag of mine is that I... My lifestyle doesn't show a lot of security, which is not bueno for like a long term re mm. relationship like yeah. I can't I can't tell someone that I'm going to only do the film thing or I'm going to die mm -hmm. I can only just do it mm -hmm. I can't really prove it mm -hmm. you know it's like when someone's like I'll do it and you're like well then do it like yeah. saying it isn't really doing much especially with that mm -hmm. and I think that is a big red flag of mine and I blurt a lot and get hyper and that but I don't think that's a huge deal. That doesn't deal. seem like a red flag. I, I feel like it's more of like a you get agitated easily is your biggest red flag. Like you like by like by kind of like like things that like people do like a lot of people do and like don't know that they do even like you get like irked by like things like that and you can like call people out for doing shit that they don't even know they're doing and I think that definitely can turn people off of you like really quickly well like I mean I'm just in my head better and <laughs> I think this is how you need to act to be at my level yeah see that's a red flag <laughs> yeah, that might be one of the reddest flags I've ever heard <laughs> It's just like, I don't know. Chew it's with like your a mouth. crimson flag. It's just like, <laughs> chew with your mouth closed and use your fucking blinker. Okay, yeah, those things. <laughs> I try to hold people to my standard. Yeah. That I, things I would get mad at me for doing, I try to get mad at other people. For, for sure. <laughs> but usually it's because, I mean, at the end of the day, it is because I do get mad, but I, think, but I think when I get mad is how I find a joke in something. No, for sure. I agree with that. I think and with the petty things like that. I think it's more of like when you are looking for a joke, people might not understand how like you like firing off about something like and being loud and yelling. That's a joke in itself. If like fucking like say some like guy like you're on the like driving and some guy like cuts you off, and you're like motherfucker, fuck this piece of shit, and like girls like. 
or like anybody like can get uncomfortable by that if they think the person is actually having a road rage fit. But like, or like even like shit like when you're like going off about like just like random like people like just doing dumb shit like anyone can be like oh this guy has a negative attitude or whatever but it's like no 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 he's looking for stupid little quips to make fun of people like in a general way that he can like ex extort on like an entertainment spectrum he's not just like being a douche for no reason to like people doing dumb shit if you don't get road rage when you drive that means you're the bad driver that people get road rage from. <laughs> if you're paying attention while you're driving, see I'm doing it. If you're paying yeah. attention <laughs> while you're driving, you're gonna see all this. It's the thing like the thing that sucks about I found something. The thing that sucks <laughs> about having common sense is that you see everybody who doesn't fucking have it. Yeah. When you're paying attention on the road, you see everyone who's not. No, that's true. But there's also like a difference between having a fucking like advert reaction to that and then like just being able to fucking swallow it and like move on yeah but cars kill people <laughs> yeah. so easily yeah but like that's true but like what we the fuck the are same you gonna do in. by getting so angry and fucking upset on the road you're just gonna make yourself more complacent yeah but it's like i'm still driving well and yeah for sure for sure yeah that's fine and i think everyone took the same driver's ed class we all have a license because we can do we can at least go the speed limit and stay in the lanes. Mm -hmm. And I think that should be a social norm. <laughs> I'm not disagreeing with you. Make the life you want, and that's what I'm trying to fucking do. <laughs> I'm not disagreeing with you. I'm just saying, what's the point of getting all upset about it when there's nothing you can actually do about it? Well, I mean, sometimes I'll yell at someone out the window, and that feels good. That does feel good. And it that's here's what, what it about. does. If you if you can yet like if you're in a place where you can like fucking try to yell at the person who did it, but if it's like one of the situations where it fucking happens and they're gone, and you're just sitting there steaming over it in your car, like th and I'm not saying you, I'm talking like people like road rage in general, like. And just like being like super reactive to like shit like that on the like, and I'm guilty of it too. But like, just being overreactive to shit on the on the freeway, like that's how you fucking cause even more fucking stupid. I don't, but I think uh, here's how I think of it: as soon as I get out of the car, I forget that anyone cut me off or anything, and so I think of it as like a therapy or a verbal mm. punching bag, you know? Mm -hmm. I get it all out in the car yell at whoever and then it's fine it's just some five minutes later because debbie in front of me can't <laughs> lay the fucking gas pedal down <coughs> that's like, my biggest thing up. is when people don't drive up to traffic speed yeah and like if someone's fucking like going like 25 and like a 35 and the rest of traffic's going 45 I'm going to hit you with the, my car. Like, I'm just going to rear-end you. Like, fuck you. I, I'm just going to give you a little tap, and then I'm just going to move on. Like, the thought <laughs> of, like, well, I'm going the safe speed. It's like, if you're going slower, that you're the dangerous one. Yeah. And I think if you're, you know, the cars are dangerous. And we saw it in that fucking advert a long time ago. What advert? The one that, where the kids all died. Oh, yeah. <laughs> They got <laughs> squirted. Yeah, that was one of the best best commercials I've ever seen. Let's okay. So let's just simplify my red flag. I think it's I get angry, and I'm not the best at criticism, taking mm, criticism. That, those are good. I think you nailed them. I'm not good at taking criticism from people who like I don't give a fuck about their opinions. Like when if I'm like writing something and yeah. I show it to somebody who's never written anything, and they're like, "Here's what to do." I'm like, Why did I show you this? Yeah. You just dumbed down my idea. That I don't like. I don't. I don't like. Unless you're like clearly like better than me at something, like it's gonna be really hard for me to like. I don't know. Think that you're like actually trying to help. It just seems like uh. I don't know. Someone trying to. I don't know. Tell me that what I'm doing is wrong. I think you need to talk to somebody about that. Well, yeah. I think we all need to talk to someone about everything. But uh that one that's a little your turn. Um what do I think your red flags are? The flake thing. 
Yeah. Forgetting. Mm. Forgetful. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good one. I forgot about that. <laughs> I don't... It, you're nice. You're a nice kid. A smidge selfish sometimes. Here's an example. The other day, rather weak, when you asked me to come over, I said I didn't want to. Mm -hmm. Here's how I interpreted all that. <laughs> was, hey, Max, I'm really hungover, and you have a thing I want, and you're having a fine day. Can you bring it all over to me so that I can feel better and go to sleep, and then you can leave? Yep, that's exactly how it was. And I, I did feel bad <laughs> asking in that way, and but I was just kind of like, I mean... He's done it every time before. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Clearly, he enjoys it. I mean, fuck. What? Yeah, I don't know. It was just... Another red flag of me. I'll do the nicest thing for the biggest <laughs> asshole. <laughs> Not saying you're an asshole. <laughs> but I will. Yeah. No, I mean... Also... Desperate times call for desperate measures. And if that's being a selfish prick to your friends, then that's fine. <laughs> that's a selfish thing you just said. <laughs> Like, you have everything I need, and I won't do the minimum, which is come get it from you. Because <laughs> I know you're doing what I want to be doing at your house, mm -hmm. where you're comfy, and you can probably, you know, make food whenever you want. It's not weird for you to, like, look through your own fridge. But, like, can you... <laughs> I'm so hungover, Max. <laughs> yeah, well... Sorry. Hey, that's a... <laughs> now it's an orange flag. You're learning. Now we're growing. You Did I get it? You wouldn't do the... Yeah, you nailed it for sure. And I promise that was not festering for like a week. <laughs> the red flag's idea was... <laughs> but I was not like, oh, when we meet next, buddy, <laughs> I'm going to have some words... <laughs> You know I would do that for you, right? Though, like if I wasn't hungover I, and you were, which is I never don't going think to happen. That's the thing is I don't know if you would. <laughs> You'd would. probably be like, get your ass up and come over here and well, get it, then, you would. lazy bitch. I would. Okay. Tune in next week when I try. <laughs> I'm gonna have like four beers and then wake that? up and then wake up and be just dead because you know. It, That'll that'll do it to me. And then I'll say, Samson, I just got back from work and driving around and basically had a full day. I'm fine, but <laughs> <laughs> come through. Yeah, I'll come through, man. No, it's okay. Um, yeah. Okay. So now you said what you think your red flags are. I told you what I've noticed some red <laughs> flags are and then same to me. So now what are the actual red flags? I don't know. What's the average of all that? Uh, well, obviously flake and then forgetfulness. And so you can just listen and write shit down. <laughs> well, that, I literally said fucking flake and then I said <laughs> fucking like essentially oh, a same thing of like being selfish which is just wanting to hang out with friends all the time and like do my own fucking thing and then i just said tried to say it in a nicer way to myself and then um yeah so i mean flake and selfishness and then forgetfulness is definitely a big one i think maybe like even more red flaggish because it's more just like noticeable like right off the bat when you start talking to me like and hang out with me like it's definitely like what like the selfishness shit like that's the stuff that'll come out of the woodwork sometimes I here's think. the example but like the forgetfulness is like instant are uh -huh. you just gonna give me that's more the <laughs> yeah, okay that was a good the good yeah. example of, of the forgetfulness and like being in your own head i think that's what is just i don't know the two things going on at once you, you can do one thing at a time sort of thing and just stop doing that. <laughs> <laughs> so how so how do we fix flaking and forgetfulness? Well, the flaking is is a two part issue. The fl it's it's an overcommitment issue as well. Overcommit. 
like it's like a saying saying i'll do too many things like you're a yes man yeah exactly like it's it i have to like conquer my yes man issue before i can conquer the flake issue because like it's less of a flake thing and more of like a oh i planned five different things with four different fucking people all at the same time and forgot about half of them and so now all these people are texting me so it's like a combination of all the other ones that lead to like the flaking i guess yeah now that you mentioned i can I guess whenever I've invited you to some, there's some things I could sort of tell. Or it's, like, it's probably gonna forget. <laughs> well, it's like, it's like, oh, I, I like, especially if it's like, if it's more than like a week out, like, and you tell me about it, it, I'm never remembering that unless you remind me about it. Like, that is crazy. The week it of. should be the like, other way around. I know. <laughs> I'll even push it in my calendar, and then like it, I'll get like a note if like. Because but then a girl you want to fuck <laughs> asks you to hang out. Okay. Yeah. Okay. There we go. If there's an off chance you'll get laid, you're like, fuck the tickets, dude. I'm gonna go. Okay. Okay. What tickets? I don't know. It's just. I don't <laughs> if there's tickets, I'm not doing that. If there's okay. already purchased tickets. Okay. I'm just. Just saying. I don't like, waste money. I waste time. Okay. Well, the time is money. So. <laughs> My turn. <laughs> Criticism. And the other th angry temper. Temper's not going away. No. <laughs> if anything, it's gonna get. <laughs> <laughs> it's not gonna get worse. You're just I'm lucky. You're lucky that it like literally doesn't play into any effect when you're drinking. Honestly. Yeah. Like you're such a happy drunk, which is so good because like a lot of down people. Here, I'm have, an entertainer. Yeah, because a lot of people who have tempers get like worse tempers when they're fucking drunk. I think my temper like at the end of the day affects me the because like i sit with it and i yeah and that's not good for you like no. i feel like some people or with a lot of my you friends do if sit I, with shit for like a yeah. long time like and i think I, that that's kind of a red flag in itself like yeah. you hold such gnarly grudges yeah yeah uh if anything i don't think my temper is gonna like get worse but i do think just with the work i try to do and with how i'm always trying to figure out how my brain works it's yeah. gonna get refined <laughs> <laughs> i'm going to fine tune this temper to use I don't it know what that means for jokes <laughs> think bill burr yeah okay i get it that's what i want to be okay I can like, see it. I want to be like, when I get mad, I don't want people to think, here he goes. Like, I want, if I'm getting angry, someone's like, oh shit, Max is going to say something funny. Like, I'm trying to turn it into that. Every once in a while, I feel like I can, like, someone's like, oh, Max is going to, I have a moment where I feel like some people can notice Max would say something at a time like this yeah. sort of thing. I just want it more. I feel that. How would you fix me? How would I fix you? Yeah. I'd probably chain you up in a fucking dark, dark room and just whip you until you fucking just submitted. Because that's mean, what you want. That just sounds, <laughs> that just sounds like a, just a weekend I need. I, I yeah, just exactly. need to be See, like, away be from my phone. So tranquil after all that, dude. Like, you just phone be. in the other room, not worrying about it. Like, that sounds nice. Yeah, exactly. So, I mean, <laughs> it's just need a little vacay. <laughs> I just need a little ba 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 basement vacation. <laughs> what are you typing? I made a new like plan notes page in the Google Drive because the other one was just like we had to scroll all the way to the bottom now to get to the to the new stuff and it's, a, it's almost a year ago that we made it and so we might as well make one for year two every year we should like print out the uh, thing when we're done and make a like a itinerary book oh and just <coughs> you wouldn't like learn anything but like it'd be cool to show people mm -hmm. you know it's, everyone loves bts true everybody does love btsm the korean band yeah oh. <laughs> Two different things that neither of them meant what <laughs> BTS actually means. Um, Black Tiger Sex Machine? The other day, here's one of my petty Larry David getting angry at really small things. Okay. I had a friend over. Okay. And I, offer, I said, would you like something to drink? Mm-hmm. 
They were like, what do you got? And I was like, I don't know, I have coffee, I have like some wine, some this, that, whatever. And they were like, uh, uh, well, I was going to get coffee later. Could you make me something? And I was like, sure, absolutely. And then they're like, what would you make? And I said, if you went to a coffee shop, what would you get? And they said like a brevi or something, which I guess is a latte with half and half Ooh. instead of milk. And I said, well, I can do my version of that because uh, I don't have half and half. I can make a latte with almond milk. Yum. Yeah, yummy, healthy, good for you, whatever. Um, super trendy. Uh, and I was like, let me, let me whip that up for you. And made it. Gave it to my friend. Mm-hmm. And my friend said, this is really good. And I went, thank you. Yay. And they drank it. Or, then we went out. And then uh, fast forward a few hours, I come back home. And I see the cup they were drinking. It was still full. Not yay. And so it's like, tell me you don't like it. Or don't ask for fucking coffee. If... It, Especially, like, I went out of my way. If they had asked for, like, an Americano, something that I make every day mm -hmm. for me, I mean, mm -hmm. not a big deal. But, like... Or tell me that it's bad. Tell me it's bad. Don't, don't yeah. be nice don't about it. Don't make me think like, that I made a good... Yeah, because I'm going to keep... I'm going to be able to do it. I'm going to keep making lattes like this because you told me it was good. If you tell me it's bad, then I, I can, can make them better. Exactly. Let me try it. Let like, me see what make I did wrong. another latte and I'll do it better. God damn it. God damn it. Cause God damn it, like, you're just ruining our training. Because I'm an entertainer. <laughs> Let me help you. God damn it. Yeah. Do you think it was that a reasonable amount of madness to get over that? Or it would have been at the time, but now that it, like three days has gone by. <laughs> yeah, if that happened to me three days ago, I wouldn't remember it happened. Yeah, I'm still pissed about it. <laughs> well, it's also because I wrote it down. I wrote unappreciated latte. But yeah, that's why you're so mad about things, too. Because you, like, think on them for so long. Because you're trying to, like, find, like... For comedy. The comedy. For comedy. But you can't... You have to look for the comedy with less fucking personal vendetta in it. So you're doing the thing where, like... I've done more comedy, so, like, I'm not going to take that advice. I'm not saying <laughs> that... It's been I'm not working saying for that for comedy advice. I'm saying no, that for your own, like... But fucking personal mental health. Like, don't dwell on it so hard. Like, look at it for comedy, but don't dwell on, like, the actual situation and how much it actually pissed you off. Because mm. in my opinion, that's just going to fucking make you waste fucking energy on being angry rather than actually, like, looking into what's funny about it. Hmm. The one good thing about that that I see is I always have too much energy. <laughs> yeah, all right. <laughs> So maybe this is my brain's like yeah, subconscious way, way to of like, like burning shit off. Like get him really mad about how crooked that picture on the wall is, <laughs> and then there's you, I'm looking out the window. There's not a crooked <laughs> picture. <laughs> if it is, if any of them are, it's this one. Fuck, dude, where? <laughs> oh, I it's gonna look it. crooked in the thing because it's at an angle, but that's. It's gonna look like this end is bigger. Mm-hmm. Now you say things. <laughs> I don't really want to anymore. <laughs> Did you write anything down to work? Okay, I think we're pat we're done with the red flag bit. All right. I think we did some work. Yeah. I still don't know what I need to do. Stop dwelling on shit. Yeah, okay. It's because you can't take criticism. <laughs> yeah. Look at that. <laughs> From people I don't respect. Yeah. Well, maybe you should fucking all. learn to like <laughs> take an open perspective. Fuck, dude. <laughs> People don't have to be good at things for them to give good advice if you think about it. Yeah, but it would fucking sure help. Yeah, it would help. But like, when I'm not going to take running advice from you. You know what I mean? Yeah, but I'm not going to give you advice about running. I would give you advice about like nothing to do with running. Maybe like, oh, I've been for a run here. You should try it. It's nice. Well, that's... That's nice advice. Yeah. That's advice I would take. Right? I'd be like, because you don't have to run to know that a place is nice. Yeah, that exactly. That would be fun to run at. Exactly. Yeah. I guess then, have you I guess everyone needs to worry about how they give me advice then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See, it's not my fault. <laughs> I'm the victim here. Exactly. That's what I'm trying to tell everyone you. This comes, whole time. Everyone comes at me too aggressively to where I'm like, oh, you don't like me. You're trying to change me, but that. 
Yeah, because you don't do that. <laughs> I feel like I don't. I go way. That's where it comes to like me over explaining to seem like really like. Because I always feel like an inconvenience. It's because it's all the time. Even if I'm like, if we're hanging out watching TV and I no one said anything in two minutes, I'm like, they're gonna leave because they're bored. I can actually identify with that. Yeah, I, I do that, I feel that so I do that much. Too. Like I always, if like, I think especially like at a, my house, that's like an, I think that's like kind of what's naturally driven us to like entertainment almost. You know, where it's like I have to keep these people fucking. Gotta keep laughing and like hooked on like what I'm doing, what I'm talking about, or else they're gonna fucking lose interest in me and never want to hang out That's with me again. In my head, it's like if I don't talk for, if I don't say a funny thing every five minutes, dude. Yeah, no one's like, <laughs> they're like, wow, Max isn't funny anymore. <laughs> Fuck this guy, he sucks. I'm out here. And he's just like, I'm tired. Sometimes I don't wanna. <laughs> I've had a show every night. I'm exhausted. <laughs> dude, I totally fucking feel that. Yeah. And the thing is, like, but then you flip it. Whenever I've been at somebody's house and we're sitting watching TV and no one's saying it, it's nice. It is I don't nice. Mind. It's so nice. But and I'm sure, like, the person I'm with is probably like, I need to entertain. Like, I need, I need to, to do like, something. What, do like, I do? what should we do? Like, do you want to do something? You want to play a game? Like, what's yeah. going on? And then when I ask them and they're like, No, this is fine. I'm like, You're lying. Mm-hmm. You're trying to seem nice. You're gonna leave soon. I know it. You're gonna leave right. Three, mm-hmm. two, one. Oh, you're gone. Yep. <laughs> That's what I do. I push people away. <laughs> You'll just I leave. Like Nobody wants me here. Dude, that's such a fucking... Isn't that crazy how, like, oh, maybe everyone sort of has I mean, the same I mean, five insecurities. Yeah, right. It's the same... It's that thing it where, is. like, you know how there's technically, like, around, like, eight to ten jokes? Oh. Like, there's only, like, eight like, to, like structures, structures of jokes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, you're putting different words in, but it's the same kind of... It's like, I feel like everyone has the same, like few insecurities there's just a few people that do something about these ones and the people who don't do something about these and that's what makes everyone seem different but we're all the fucking same (laughs) we all feel like we need to do more yeah i can see that i mean there's definitely like that's like was one of my biggest things in college is like with marketing classes it's all about trying to identify trends right and like they like constantly like in marketing classes they're like all right so what can you like determine about this group of people because of this i'm like that's bullshit, dude. Fucking people are different. Like, fuck that. You know, like, they're not but then, really. like, I, I know. And then I, as I start, like, developing more and, like, meeting more people and just, like, getting more in the marketing world and seeing, like, trends in real life, I'm like, oh. Oh, just their hair is different. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. People just talk different. <laughs> people just tell you they're different. <laughs> we should call this episode Pretty Good Self Discovery. <laughs> I feel like we're learning a lot. I'm learning a lot. I'm learning. This is like probably, without a guest, the most serious we've been. Yeah, probably. Most, most in, introspective. Most look within, like... Introspective. How do we fix us? Say introspective one more time. No. You were, I thought we were... It's like a song. I was saying the, oh. the verse, the... I thought you were like threatening. Looking from within, introspective. I, thinking about us. I thought you were threatening me. No, I, it was. I thought you were like, say it one more time. I, <laughs> see, now you just gave me another insecurity. <laughs> it's like, do I just, in my head, I'm saying what I think is nice, but do I just sound like a dick Dude. all the time? I've actually run into that problem myself before. Like, I know. Yeah. No, that's the thing. It's like there's like, a lot of things you'll say like aggressively at me, but I heard it so much where I know that you don't mean it that I way. I never do, dude. And and I used to get in trouble like that at the fraternity a shit ton because I'd like say shit to people or like when like we'd be in like some kind of argument or like just like something like a small bickering with someone and I'd like say something like, "Dude, fuck you. You're such a dick." I'm like, "What?" Like, and I'm like. They're like, you just told me... And I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. That is not what I meant by that. It's like, like, I think... Because most people, I think when you are acting like that... Like, I think most people can, like, either write it off... Like, not worry about it. They're like, huh, oh, he asked for that kind of weird. Or, like, you know, not worry about it too much. Or just ignore it. But then there's the few people that, like, take that personally. Mm-hmm. For example, is uh, that one time with my own roommate. Do you remember when you and him got in a little scruffle because of a... Like simple, like you said something and he just interpret. Write it down. I'll tell you about it. I just don't want to get into it here, but like, because I thought you would have remembered by now. I can get you to remember. I know I can. 
but it's just without i need to say a name and i don't want to oh okay because i say like it? i love both of you so much I know. and i don't want to okay it was just i just remember it was such a misunderstanding yeah that if it was clarified it would have been fine yeah. but like i, I it can just remember escalated. kind of like i i remember like i remember like the fucking aura of what you're talking about but i can't like specify it like yeah that. it was a misunderstanding but like it but was just the way the way you times. clarified that's it a- it just sounded like snarky mm-hmm. and he was like what like what'd you say and you're like i just said the, the, the and then it and i mean it's granted you said it to one of the most immature people on the planet and so it that didn't help your case. Mm. Anyone else, it would have been fine. Mm-hmm. You would have been like, oh, this is what I meant. And then, end of story. And you would have been buddy buddy. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to think of. Don't worry. I, I, I'll get to it. Did what you type it out? Time? Did you? I just don't have a pen. Did I type it out? Or did just to type to remind me to tell you later? Oh, yeah, I can do that. Okay, just because I don't have a pen. Yeah, and I don't want to. Like, when I get excited texting on my phone, if I want to type a word that's five letters, I have to type and backspace and type it a million times because my thumbs do like my thumbs act like when I'm drunk talking, and I slur my text. I do that too. And I can never like the autocorrect fills in the wrong word all the time. Well, that's just, why it's nice. The iPhone has like the slide now because mm-hmm. you can like literally just slur it and it'll usually get it right. I've been moving from like typing it on it to just voice recording it because then I can add context to things that I know are missed in written word. It's kind of fun typing on two different keyboards. Try to type on all three at once. I'll give you a sentence and then. Okay. Shit, fuck, come. Plantar fasciitis. Eleven ankle braces, but on four wrists. Like it just—it looks you. Lo- <laughs> it's like just impressive. Like you know when you're I fucked that when, one up. <laughs> have you ever like like you walk into an office of like a place you don't work at? Like maybe you're dropping something off yeah. for somebody. And you see someone doing that, and it's like, wow, that's like that must be a really important person. <laughs> but they're re- they're just like making an Excel sheet like bigger and smaller, and just <laughs> like <laughs> control plus 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 minus. They're just typing like <laughs> Google Earth, just like fucking typing ass 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 ass. It's so on all keywords, ass ass. Just ass, ty- ass, ass, ass. I do that at work sometimes, where I'm just like. <laughs> or I do if I'm like writing and like uh, my roommate or like somebody's like standing over my shoulder and I don't want to like see what I'm doing but I want it to seem like I'm busy, I'll just type in like they're just fucking sitting here looking at me, staring over me. There's this whole room they can stand in, but uh, they just have to be in my fucking bubble right now. How are people this oblivious? How do they not? How does he not see how fucking close he is to oh me? Oh my god, like, that's funny. That's and then they leave and I get rid of it. And yeah. Going. Or I'll just type fuck like 9,000 times. My favorite thing is like when you're working oh, on a keyboard. Google Drive thing with someone else and then you're like both working on like the same document and you can like see what they're doing. And then you can like send a little message to them within the document. Just like fuck in the middle of the session <laughs> that they're working on. Gotcha. <laughs> see if they notice it before they turn in their assignment. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard of people like they'll send their resume to some of their friends to like get notes on it and their friends will like just put something like in like their special skills or something. it's like i don't know i can drop kick a cat 50 <laughs> yards or something, and they just they'll send it and yeah it looks good i just i would tweak that and that and they don't notice the thing and then they don't get a job oh my god that. that's so fucked <laughs> or up. they get the way wrong job <laughs> because they're like really pumped on the thing that their friends added <laughs> I uh, got you. I'm just really hyped that uh, you uh, said that you can kick this cat 50 yards. That's actually exactly what's in the job description. Like, no, I I said I know every you know quirk about Word and Microsoft. And you're like, That's cool, man. But like 50 yards? Oh That's God. crazy. Holy Our old shit. guy Derek, who we let go, he can only get like 15. <laughs> like it's, it's just cat and soccer ball is the same thing for you, huh? That's crazy because you know. A soccer ball is meant to be in the air. A cat 
You get it. The physics. Physics. Physics, man. It's a catastrophe. That is a catastrophe. All right. How long, how long have we been at it? 50 minutes. Oh, <laughs> shit. Let's end it. <laughs> that was nice. That was, that was, a good, was one. good. That was good. That was a nice little... Uh, we had some jokes. Yeah, we had we some, had some, some yolks and some yodels. But we also had some honesty. And some honesty and some, some shamefulness. That we'll work on. Yeah. That's what. That's all, honestly, all you can do in life is just... Yeah. Get, sure work. Always get better. Work, always, work, work. Always get just better. Just like Riri says. Just like Riri says. And work, Kim, work, work, nobody work, wants work. to work, but you just kind of work. Work, 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 work. Right. Bye. Can you breathe? <laughs> Not really. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm good. That's the sound you make when you calm, too. When you get the wind knocked out of you. <laughs> <laughs>